brothers and sisters in Christ, um, I wanted to talk to you about a recent experience I had. Uh, so I recently watched a video and ma made by a brother in Christ named uh, Raymond. Um, I have a link to the video he made in the description box of this video. So in the video he talked about how he prayed for God to uh, bless him with the heavenly armor so he can uh, guard himself against demons and he can like so he, it's not just the angels fighting and protecting so he can defend himself. So yeah, um, I made the prayer also. Um, I pray that um, God bless me with heavenly armor and the skills I need to defend myself. So remember, the angels, they're always constantly, constantly, constantly battling uh, the demons. So it would be nice if for once once the angels could take a break and we, the, we servants of God, we can... Um, we can fight the demons also so the angels are not overworked or anything so yeah i made the prayer and uh, after i made the prayer um uh, i i went to sleep and i had a dream about um so the dream started like this and i was um i don't know where i was but i saw this weird ufo object thing and there was these three people there they were they, they were it was three or four people they were they were preparing to fly so I went I, there was something suspicious but I went with them um, I got on that UFO thing we flew and I think we flew to the moon or something we flew to the moon the UFO thing landed and there was a house we came inside this house the people that were on the the UFO they also came inside but I felt something was strange something was weird and um, I didn't know what to make of these people and then so I asked them I'm like um, what do you think of Jesus and they didn't give a positive answer so I'm like oh it's a demon so they, they didn't give a positive answer and they weren't glorif glorifying God when I said what do you think of Jesus there they said something's negative so I'm like oh it's a de demon and these people they were disguised as humans yes they were demons and I when I was having this dream I was in the spirit it was not just a dream came up with my own imagination is I received this dream it was, I was I was in the spirit so they were demons disguised as humans and all of a sudden I started fighting them. I don't know how I got these. Well, actually, I do know how I got these. They, in my dream, I, ha I had these martial arts skills and I had the skills to defend myself. But I'm not a martial artist or anything like that. So it's not like I got this out of my out of my own of the things I did. It was in the prayer I made that I, I'll be blessed with the heavenly armor and the skills I need to defend myself and God answered the prayer and the spirit I had the skills to defend myself so I was fighting off these demons and then more demons were coming in and I'm, I was asking them what do you think of Jesus what do you think of Jesus and they weren't giving a positive answer so in this house and around the house we kept on fighting we kept on fighting but it was crazy the more we fought the more demons came the more demons came the more demons came it was like never ending I'm like where are all these demons coming from and I'm like I need help I can't do this myself well, actually, I was fighting him off, but there was more coming, more coming, more coming. I'm like, I need help, I need help. And a, a, another person came. It was this chubby, he was this ch chubby fat guy with a ponytail. And I thought, and he said he was the Archangel Michael. And then I thought it was weird. I'm like, wait, why would the Archangel Michael be so chubby? And so I'm like, what do you think of, what do you think of Jesus? And he did not give a positive answer. So I'm like, oh, there's another demon disguised as a human. So we just kept on fighting and fighting and fighting and more demons were, fi were filling the house and um, yeah, somehow I was defending myself. It's not like, so this just gives you a glimpse of what the angels must go through constantly. I mean, the angels are constantly fighting demons and the demons are like cockroaches. They never quit. They're, it's like they're always trying to, they're always trying to get at you and once an angel uh, defeats one demon, another one comes. It's like never ending. So... Now I, I saw a glimpse of what the angels were going through because when I was in the spirit, I was having this dream. I mean, it was like non-stop. They weren't stopping. And also, some of the demons that were coming to attack me, they were they were disguised as people I knew. So they were trying to deceive me like they're, they're the good guys. But once again, when you ask them, what do you think of Jesus? They don't give a positive answer. So you immediately know that they're an evil spirit. They're a principality. They're a demon. They're whatever. So yeah, this was the dream I had. And what, what was interesting is that um, once I woke up, I was exhausted. Even though I, I slept for like a couple hours, I was still exhausted. I, I, I like I, in my dream, I was fighting and I, I was fighting. When I woke up, I felt like I, I had a real fight. I mean, I was just so exhausted. And yeah, that's the dream I had. It was pretty interesting. So 
I, I really got a glimpse of what the angels must go through. I mean, the persistency of the evil powers, I mean, it just beyond what I could imagine. They were just coming and coming and coming. It was like, it was like, like an army of ants just coming. It's like never ending. And so, yeah, pray that prayer and ask that, um, if, if you want to, if you want to ask for the skills to defend yourself in certain situations or when you're in the spirit, you want to defend yourself so maybe the angels can get a break from fighting the demons. Yeah, ask for the skills, ask God for the skills you need to defend yourself, whether it's heavenly armor, whether it's martial arts skills that you never practiced before. And um, yeah, this is what I want to talk to you about and do not, do not be deceived and the demons will come, they'll try to deceive you in, in your dreams and they'll, they'll try to make you think, oh, that's the Archangel Michael. But when you ask him, what do you think of Jesus? And he doesn't give a positive response and you already know that's not the Archangel Michael. That's a someone disguised as someone else and it's a demon actually. So yeah, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and also this in the description box of this video, I have a message about the end times, the second coming, the rapture. If you have not done so already, please spread that message, whether you're going to copy, paste it, send it to someone, whatever you're going to do to get the word across. We need to warn the people and thanks for listening. All glory to God and um, yeah, uh, thanks for listening.